Alright, I know what the title says. Please take what I say with a grain of salt. I don't know everything there is about computer parts, nor do I claim to know. I'm also exaggerating quite a bit for entertainment purposes, alright? With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So a little bit ago, I was cleaning out my PC, spraying compressed air everywhere I see and wiping things down with anti-static wipes. By the way, my CPU cooler is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition with two Corsair ML120 fans in a push-pull configuration on my Intel Core i5-6500. Yes, I know it's overkill, but I do like really low temperatures. I blew air into the heatsink and eventually removed the fans and cooler itself to wipe them down. Alright, here's where my disdain comes. My PC builders out there, you know, the old Hyper 212 Evo, and specifically this part. Yeah, easy to install, right? You just screw those brackets onto the fan you want to install, clip the fan onto the heatsink, and plug in the fan. Alright, now look at the Hyper 212 Black Edition. There any difference? Aside from it, you know, being a different color? Ah, here's the difference. The Hyper 212 Black Edition has these skimpy ass fan brackets compared to the original's plastic screw-on brackets. I mean, look at the size difference between them. Anyway, if you haven't noticed yet, one of them screws onto the fan itself, while the other just hooks and dangles on. Back then, I had the original Hyper 212 Evo. You know, the one with the functioning fan brackets. Later down the line, I received the Hyper 212 Black Edition because I loved the aesthetic it brings to my PC. I took one glance at these shitty fan brackets and opted to reuse my old 212's fan brackets instead. For a while, they worked well. Until one day, I booted up my PC and heard a horrible grinding noise and saw through my side panel window that a fan was slipping. I don't know how that happened, but I went in and reseated the fans. I fired up my PC, and once again I heard the grinding noise. So I had to use these little bastards as a replacement because it seems that my old brackets weren't holding on too great to the mounting points on the heatsink. As an FYI, I usually install my CPU fans inside the case. I don't take the heatsink out, put the fans, and put the whole thing in. Now that I think of it, I doubt it's possible with the 212 because the fans would be in the way of the heatsink screws. I take one of these shits and hook it onto the fan, then place it onto the cooler. I take the other one and try to hook it onto the other side of the fan. When I go mount the other one on, it falls off! Also, I'm not sure if it's my particular unit or something, but these things don't feel secured onto the cooler. Like the fans seem to have wiggle room in with these damn things compared to the old ones. So I had to twist tie the brackets to each other, because I have a push-pull config, you know? To prevent one or the other from falling off or wiggling! In the long term, I'll either have to pick up replacement original Hyper 212 fan brackets or use zip ties. It seems I'm not alone with these tribulations. Looking at the, the cooler's reviews on PC Part Picker, other people have said they had a little trouble mounting the fans. On Amazon, Newegg, and other sites, we have some juicy ones. Aside from the fan mounting system, I have no complaints about the Hyper 212 Black Edition. It looks sleek. It keeps my 6500 idling at 25 degrees and below 60 degrees under load. Using a decibel meter, yeah, I should have uh, recorded my audio. Oh well. At load, my PC hovered around 50 decibels. The heatsink mounting process of the Hyper 212 Black Edition is much simpler than the original 212, with brackets that screw onto the heatsink base instead of an X shaped bracket. But please don't use these skimpy fan brackets anymore, Cooler Master. I see the Hyper 212 Black Edition RGB has uh, what looks like plastic screw-on brackets, so thank you for that change. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. I hope it entertained you, and thank you for watching.